Hello everybody, my name is Kiwi and welcome back to Eden Orphanage Home. So, uh, in the order that I've posted this, my shifting video came is coming out before this video, but I... <laughs> I'm actually going to be trying in this video to explain everything properly, including like rules, regulations, uh, the schedule, activities, things like that. Although I have, no, I haven't. Okay, but anyway, so first things first, when you join the game, you'll be an orphan, but you click up here. Why is my computer lagging? And then you can have the three options. I don't know if everyone will have the psycho option. I think everyone has that option, but I don't know. So first you'll join, you'll be an orphan, uh, hit tab to get rid of that, it's a botted server right now, that's what that little bot means, it means it's botted, uh, and you can click any of these, I'm gonna be clicking staff because I wanna be staff, then you'll click it again to get that menu to disappear, load daily activities, so, I'm gonna play through an entire day, but this whole, this time I'm gonna just be explaining everything, so first of all, I'm gonna move my teddy and move everything up. So you have the maid candle, the higher the rank, which means like the first, the the higher, like three or four, like the, the devoted interns and like stuff like that. You'll have a bigger candle. It has four instead of the three, or you can buy the torch. Um, I haven't, uh, cause I just don't care enough, I guess. I, I don't know. I just haven't bought it. Uh, it just helps you see at night. Um, I'll explain this. This is Alice's shop, which is essentially where you can purchase the golden ticket or the admit one, which is just the plane. I bought the admit one. Uh, which means I would have to I have to buy again um, up there like go up this way that's Eden's grave um, that's also where Eden's history is told so yeah um, this is the plane paddle the it's to knock down like roamers disrespectful orphans um, orphans that are stuck in the line that you can reach which are just the outer lines Inner lines, you'll have to tell them to go into settings, change their movement to tap to move. You know the deal. <clears throat> and then tap their way out. This is the cup of water. So say you are catching roamers at night and you accidentally knock down one of your fellow maids. You'll just splash them with water and they'll rise back up. Same with orphans if you accidentally knock somebody. This is the watering hole, which is where you can host a picnic or swimming if you are an orphanage caregiver. I think picnic can be hosted by the apprentice. That is we usually where, uh, like, this lake is not usually frozen, but Elm will be there and he'll be doing his rounds all day and all night. So you can go to the campsite, which I will show you later. This is where Atlas's plane lands and also where you can host uh, red light, green light if you're a custodian. So coming up, that, that way is the village. Coming up, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go in here. But first, let me tell you about the maid comes. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Eden's communications network, which is where you will go. And this is where messages will show up. So it'll be like, hi, can I shift here? Or, oh, you know, I gotta go. What are you doing for dinner? Blah, blah, blah. You can hit contacts and see who is there, including yourself. Get help. If you're an apprentice plus, you can be like, hey, this uh, server has a lot of orphans. Or this server, like, I, I could just use some help. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, like, stuff like that. This is where you would schedule. This is where you would check for tags. You schedule and you'll be like oh I claim this and that and that and you claim and you'll do them and you can even do exclamation point notepad and it'll pull up this little deal right here that you can do that and you can do all of your uh, enlightenments and send at location which is where you would do it uh, so you could send whatever the activity is then what you're gonna want to do when you first walk in is you're gonna want to do BAM get the coffee cup and then go on to the bathroom and grab the deodorant so that you're always fully energized and fully hygiened. Uh, over here is the uh, lights and the alarm. This door is not important. There's only like a certain couple of ranks that can go in there and obviously it's gonna take a long ass time to be one of those ranks. So like it's just not important. You'll find out when you get there, if you get there. This is the lights, you can turn on the, uh, the lights and turn them off like in the morning and at night. This is the alarm, which you would pull for a bunker drill or for the rare occasion that there have been 20 screens and it, you still have plenty of time to do a drill. So in here, this is where you will be uh, doing your lunch, your morning, <laughs> fucking breakfast and dinner. So this is the spoiled milk. If you accidentally drink it, you'll drink spring water, which reverses the effects. So we're gonna start over here and we're gonna make a wraparound, all right? So over here is Q 
kunit or orange juice. This is bajigur or uh, chocolate milk. This is the pride cakes, not to be served at mealtimes, only as a prize um, for games, um, for picnic, things like that, uh, for well-behaved orphans. This is woku or wok, but you can just say woku, it's not going to um, censor. This is biji or bij, or bi, really. This is getuk or get, soto or sot, but you can say soto, it's not going to tag. Kue or just ku, which is k uh, u or k u apostrophe e. This is avocado toast, but we just call it toast. This is bub, or bubber, but bub. This is plecking, or ple, saute ayam, or just sat. And this is padang, or pad. So what you'll do is you'll grab a bunch of whatever it is that you're going to serve. Go here, serve everybody, deal with uh, stuck orphans. Then you're going to grab a bunch of milk, or whatever drink you're serving. Open the door, and go and serve milk. Um, apparently it's recommended that you do it that you serve milk in first person if you're on mobile because then you can um avoid drinking it I, I guess but anyway if you serve get or avocado toast it's recommended that you don't serve milk with it you serve a drink like uh well milk's drink but you know like you or, orange juice or uh, chocolate milk because it's not very filling so yeah in here you can sleep at night and you can go to the bathroom take a shower things like that this is Larry um, I'm just gonna hit you with a cold hard truth Larry's dead um, I don't know if they're gonna fix it people are saying they're gonna fix it he's supposed to grow but he's not growing he's like bugged poor guy rip Larry um, this is the front desk the attendance desk only attendance plus may sit here um, and when like they fill out their duties like serving or whatever they'll come and they'll sit here and they'll carry out their duties here over here is the, um, I don't really know what this is. I'll, I'll go in at night and show you, but essentially it's just where you'll give them spring water. I think that door back there is connected to both of these. Yeah, it's just like a back hallway for some reason, I guess. I have no idea. But this is where, um, healers will go, I guess. I don't, this is where counselors are. I don't actually know. I thought counselors could hold counseling sessions and I thought that was in here but this is like a wishu kind of thing I have no idea I I don't know what I'm trying to explain I don't know what it is I, I'm not even close to being a, a counselor but um yeah in here this is the lecture hall so as a caregiver if say I'm the highest rank there so on the maid comms in contacts I'm the top one I would I have to stand in the center and so then it would be apprentice and then maid uh, untrained maids cannot come up here, they have to sit here, um, but yeah. Back here is the bunker. We'll only do that if there's an educator and they want to host a bunker drill, or if there is need for a bunker to happen. That's the playground. You'll have them line up neatly outside of the playground. This is the washroom, and right here is where, if you're a custodian plus, you'll take the uniforms and take them up to the third floor into the washroom and do that, or into the custodian's room. Um, those are the dorms. You'll click on the curtains and you can shut them. This is the library. So you'll do things like that. It's not bought it anymore. Damn it. Damn it. So this is the educator room. Okay, look, that guy's still in there, so I can't shut and lock the door. But here is ISO. So <clears throat> once you let everybody out, it's good to make sure that there is nobody else in there. And then you'll shut the doors. So this is ISO 1, which is where naughty orphans will go, like ones that are just disrespectful and they get three warnings, so you'll be like W1 or warning 1, and if they continue, you'll be like, okay, warning 2, okay, warning 3, and then you knock them out and bring them up here to quarantine 1, or if they're roaming at night. Uh, this is only for psycho roamers, so like uh, the ones that are twitching and stuff like that, they will go in quarantine 2, and this is quarantine 3, which is for um, bypassers or exploiters. I guess I should leave that open. I guess I'll lock it. So over here, dinner's about to start. This is where the dorms are, which before... What the fuck? Before night starts, you should go in here and unlock some of the doors. Um, 
But yeah, and then when nightfall comes around, you click the curtain and it closes. And then same thing during the morning, you click it and you'll open it. So now it's dinner time and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do my duty. There's only a few orphans in here, so I don't have much to worry about, but yeah. Yeah, I gave you some. Give you some. So usually they will ask for the milk. Give them food. You'll remind them to be in uniform and sitting and they'll get the milk. Please come sit. spawn. Oh, I don't- Oh, I thought you- Oh, fuck. Anyway, now you get to see what happens when you accidentally drink some. It's the same exact thing. So that was everybody. And yeah. And then you drink some water. And it undoes the effects. So for when you're like going throughout your daily activities or ro uh, catching roamers at night, it's recommended that you get bub. Because bub is the most filling. So it'll, just eating one like big thing of it will completely fill your hunger from the bottom. Or almost do so. See? It's nice. It's real nice. And when you run out of deodorant, because you can only have one at a time, you'll go back and get more. There are trashkins scattered around the place, which I didn't actually know. Um, but yeah. So, then when dinner has been served... Oh, shit. I didn't know you were there. It's also recommended that you give everybody the same thing. And not accidentally drink the fucking milk. So I'm going to go ahead and shut and lock the doors. It's also recommended that you do that at 1900. Um, but I suppose- oh, thank you! Oh my gosh, thank you! Jeez! Oh my gosh, what nice orphans! Oh my god! It's always- <laughs> that was so sweet! But, uh, yeah. I think Adelia stays the same. <laughs> so I think the order that you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to lock the doors, either close curtains or turn off lights first, I don't remember. I have a tendency to just, like, do this. Oh, oh my. I don't think there's anybody roaming. I think, I think literally everybody went inside. Yeah, just about everybody went inside. Fifty-five. I'll go ahead and close it. And then you turn off the lights, like so. You'll come out, grab your maid candle, and you'll go around exploring, looking for roaming orphans. They get more and more clever every single time. Also, it's recommended again that you like 
shut everything. So like I'll every room that I've explored, I'm like, okay, there's no orphan. I'll shut the door if I can, so that I know. Okay, there's no orphans in there. Like I said, though, I don't think there are any orphans roaming around. Um, they like to hide in the lockers, which is really easy to overlook. But yeah. They also like to hide behind like the walls like this one or these ones so yeah i don't think this fountain is always going to be there if i recall it wasn't originally there oh but i can show you inside of the bunker now it opens really slow and it doesn't say that i opened it right yeah no so here's the bunker, it's got beds, um, when doing the bunker you're supposed to um, make sure that there are no psychos in the bunker, like so you're supposed to see if they're twitching or not, and um, yeah. In here, this is the library where you can return books to Adelia, who apparently disappeared before, like she would disappear at night be nowhere across the orphanage and i was like she's right there she's always there but anyway only this first area and the vip book section has books so yeah um yeah orphans will hide up there they'll get on top of these like lamps um they'll back here they'll go all the way up there and then like hide on the top Oh shit, that's not what I meant. Let go of it, god. So, essentially I've explained almost everything. Um, up here is where you can host cleaning, so if there have been like a, a lot of roamers at night, you can host cleaning and then you'll come up here, you'll go up here, they'll line up right there, you'll grab a bunch of brooms and you'll hand them to them, so like, you'll go like that. And you'll be like, bam, give. So. I know that there's no orphans in there, so I'm just going to shut that. And then over here, it's this is just where the art gallery is. So sometimes when there is a, I believe it's a counselor or an educator, they can host a art appreciation, which is where they'll go around, explain the art, tell who wrote it or drew it. And yeah, they also yeah up here is the custodian washroom which is where you hang and dry the clothes and wash the clothes and things like that i can't wait to be a custodian because I, I just want to do that um and then this is where they sleep so that is that's barry larry's older brother um but yeah this is just the door to the top floor of the thing which used to be the psycho orphan dorms but it's not anymore uh also we're not as like uh, orphanage people were not allowed to go into the into the there uh, over here is something I don't what is this I don't oh this is the showers so this is where the showers are for the orphans there's no toilets here you go in a bush preferably not the berry bush that is quicksand tell the orphans to stay away from it that's Elm's house I was wondering why you couldn't go in there last time it's because it's Elm's house it's kind of rude to go in his house uh, this is these are the orphans' dorms. And here is the maid dorms. I don't really know why this is here. I guess it's where we are supposed to sleep. I have no idea. Um, but then over here is just where you can do, like, this is the milk. This is wedding, or I'm assuming it's probably just called wed. This is dadar. I'm sure it's just called dad. This is down, it's probably just called da. This is ikan, it's probably just called ik. Koto, it's probably just called kot. There's, you can get deodorant. And these are called watermelon kebabs. You can just call them kebabs or cabs. I have no idea. So yeah, I guess that's essentially the guide to being a maid in terms of like tour. So now I'm gonna go back obviously and i'm going to explain the morning whatevers so when you're alone 
you can typically just get away with not doing enlightenments. It's recommended that you still try, but only do like morning showers, um, lecture hall, evening showers, and then orphan dorms. Because Adelia will do the ones that aren't claimed, and so if you do those, it's very few for you to do. Or you could not look for roamers at night and just work on your enlightenments. So, yeah. The dress code, it all, it depends on like the season because they do have little ones where you can do uh, like a spring outfit. Like right now they have spring outfits or you could do like, or they had Valentine's ones, which is mainly pink and red and do things like that. Um, but yeah, so mostly it's all black, no religious symbols. You can have the elf ears. You can't have any unnatural features like no, uh, no face, which I can't tell if that's a rule or if it's not a rule. I have honestly no idea. Also, I hate the whole role playing like giggles. I hate that. It's so cringe. Never seen anything be more cringe than that. So, when morning runs ar rolls around, I did play last night, so I'll do pad this time. So, you'll grab a whole bunch of what you're gonna serve, like I did not yesterday, uh, and then you'll just stand here and wait. But, so, and how you're supposed to act as a staff is you're supposed to try and communicate as best as possible. You are supposed to try and remain like, like a peacekeeper of sorts. Um, Adelia will constantly be reminding you of that uniforms need to be washed. You can disregard that. It's just Adelia. Because if, unless you have a custodian, whatever. And if a custodian is in there, they're supposed to tell you, hey, I'm going to go to, get, I'll, I'll get those. I'll go and do that. Um, and if you have any issues with staff, make a maid, uh, a staff ticket to report that. Um, my throat hurts from talking so much. <sighs> but yeah, <laughs> they can't get in line until 7.10. Just like they can't get in line until 17.10. So... That's essentially the rules. You can have colors, but like it's supposed to mostly be black, uh, unless it is a like a an event one. But even then, you are still supposed to. Do you already have pad? Did I f serve you guys pad yesterday? I'm not gonna accidentally drink it in front of them this time. Did she leave? So yeah, you'll give them that- oh shit. Yeah, everyone's leaving. Then, you know, you'll go to the lecture hall. Um, you'll talk to them. You'll be like, oh, good morning. Things like that. Um, essentially, I guess everything else I can, I can do, I can say here. So, when... Here, I'll just pull up all of the Google Docs that I need. So... Starting with the activities guide. Um, man, why is my computer lagging? 
so, okay, here are all of the different ranks. There's orphanage maid, there's the apprentice, caregiver, custodian, educator, and counselor, and then the attendant, and then there's the Wishu sentinel. Those are all of the ranks that have different, like, activities that they can host. Every rank can host, um... activities that are below their own, but not higher than their own. So like, as an orphanage maid, I could do performance, but I could not do a play, which an orphanage apprentice can do. But as an apprentice, I could do I Spy, story time, but I would not be able to do like swimming or uh, nature walk. So, starting with orphanage maid, we'll do, they can do performance, they can do I Spy, story time, like and dislike, charades, true truths and a lie, playground and cleaning. Uh, an orphanage apprentice can do a play, would you rather, duck duck goose, meditation, Simon says, picnic, bonfire, and berry picking. A caregiver can do a nature walk, swimming, Eden's history, and guess the orphan. Uh, a custodian can do red light, green light, and freeze tag. Educator can do trivia, treasure hunt, camping, classroom, bunker drill, and library. A uh, counselor can do a council session, hide and seek, stargazing, and community art appreciation. An attendant can do orphanage tours and ward. I don't know what orphanage ward is, but yeah. And a sentinel can do rule check. Anyway, yeah, that's essentially that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully it was helpful. Sorry if it wasn't. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments down below. And um, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, I love you.